people already expected it long before the movie released. Aquaman 2 will most likely not only suck, but also become a huge failure in theaters. And that's exactly what's happening now. Aquaman 2 has become one of DC's worst reviewed films of all time and is also on its way to become the biggest superhero movie flop of all time. In fact, it's even performing worse than the Marvels, which is the MCU's biggest flop of all time. People thought that movie would take home the crown for biggest flop of the year, but along comes Aquaman 2 right before the year ends and underperforms it. It's incredible how badly Aquaman 2 is flopping, considering the first movie was a massive hit and made over 1.1 billion dollars worldwide and still stands as DC's highest grossing movie ever. Yet it's pretty clear what caused the downfall of the Aquaman franchise. Or rather, who caused the downfall? Amber Hart is among the most hated actors in all of Hollywood currently. People wanted her removed from the Aquaman franchise and recast with a different actress, preferably one who's not a crazy abuser who loves to play the victim while ruining innocent people's careers. There was a big movement on social media to get her removed from the role, even a petition that got over 4.6 million signatures. There were a lot of fan castings, but the most popular one that also received a lot of fan art was probably the one with Emilia Clarke replacing Amber Hart as Mara. And yet, even though there was massive pushback from fans worldwide, Warner Bros. DC decided to keep her. For some reason, Warner Bros. wanted to defend her no matter what, even risking huge financial losses in doing so. The reason Aquaman 2 is failing is because of Amber Hart being attached to it. And not just being attached to it, but also being featured in one of the movie's leading roles. What's interesting is that even the people on set didn't like Amber Hart. She must have been a pretty unlikable person that even her co-workers couldn't stand her. They've also probably been aware of the whole court case that went down between her and Johnny Depp. The court case that uncovered her real personality and showed everyone what a liar and psycho she really is. Even Jason Momoa, who's playing the main role of Aquaman, apparently didn't like her, as he was constantly teasing and annoying her. She herself stated that Momoa was coming drunk and dressed up as Johnny Depp onto the set to get on her nerves. Although DC denies the part that Momoa was ever drunk. So while he did dress up as Johnny Depp to annoy her, Amber Hart also claimed that he arrived drunk and late to the set. But that's something that DC denies. So she even lied about Jace Mamoa here to try to ruin his image and reputation and by extent potentially even his career just for teasing her on set. Something that, to be honest, must have been quite funny and it's not like she didn't deserve it. The atmosphere on set was supposedly really bad and toxic cause Amber Hart couldn't get along with other cast members like Jason Mamoa. But even the director of the movie, James Wan, wanted Amber Hart removed from the production. Most likely because he knew that his movie would be doomed if Amber Hart stayed on the team. He knew and could already see what was coming, yet Warner Bros. didn't let him fire Amber Hart. They demanded that she should stay and keep her role in the movie. The only thing that James Wan was able to accomplish was to get two scenes featuring Amber Hart cut from the movie. Even though he would have wanted to preferably cut her from the movie completely. And now it turned out exactly as James Wan probably imagined. The movie is flopping hard in theaters and on its way to become the biggest box office flop of the year, potentially even the biggest flop in all of superhero movie history. People at first thought Ant-Man 3, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania would become the biggest superhero flop of the year. Marvel hyped the movie up so much, Kevin Feige said that it's gonna be the MCU's most important movie since Avengers Endgame. The movie featured Kang the Conqueror as its main villain, someone who was supposed to become the next big main villain of the MCU. And while the marketing paid off at first, as soon as people saw the movie and didn't like it, it collapsed in the following weeks and ended up losing Marvel slash Disney a lot of money. And the MCU is in even bigger trouble now cause the actor who plays Kang was convicted of assaulting his girlfriend and was now fired by Marvel. So much for the next big bad guy. After Ant-Man 3 already failed, Marvel didn't panic yet cause they were extremely confident that the Marvels would turn out as a massive success. They were so confident in the movie that they gave it a huge budget, making it one of their most expensive movies, cause they actually expected Avengers level of success. And we all know how that turned out. The Marvels became the lowest grossing MCU movie ever, while also being one of its most expensive movies, something that now resulted in one of the biggest flops of the year. 
The other contender for biggest flop is DC's The Flash movie. Also a movie with a huge budget that ended up sucking and flopped hard despite a big marketing campaign that tried to make it the Spider-Man No Way Home of the DC Universe. Yet it had a similar issue as Aquaman 2, that issue being an extremely unpopular actor in a leading role. Ezra Miller is not just mentally ill, but also a convicted criminal, yet Warner Bros. still defended him and kept him in the movie. They seem to have a thing for siding with crazy criminals, says quite a lot about the company. And just like The Flash, Aquaman 2 is now also flopping big cause Warner Bros. DC refused to learn from their mistake. They refuse to listen to what their fans want and what audiences want and do whatever they themselves want. Yet people decided to speak with their wallets and chose not to support Aquaman 2. Another huge financial failure is what Warner Bros. gets for siding with Amber Hart instead of their fans. Maybe this time they'll learn. But I honestly doubt it. But what do you think? Was it a good or a bad decision to keep Amber Hart? And what are your thoughts on Aquaman 2? Have you seen it, will you see it, or are you not interested? Share your thoughts in the comments down below and like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one and to not miss any future updates, which will most definitely come. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Take care.